I used to work as a school teacher and um, I was diagnosed with MS 12 years ago. So then I had a few years off work and I then decided to do a little bit of work in the community services sector and disability. And at that time, I started going back to one of the interests that I had in um, being an artist. And over the years, I um, perfected my art studio, um, sold work and commissions. And then I did have the idea to be able to support people in doing that themselves. So that's why I created my business. My business is called Michelle Brown Art Studio. And the reason why I called it um, Michelle Brown is that's my name. And I, I've always like, you know, got awards and, and building my profile up as an artist. So to be easily recognised, um, I, I, I did decide to be that name. But um, yeah, people are responding really well to that. I'd like to help other people with disability um, who want to be involved with art or, you know, have their artwork shown. So I created a website for them to be able to showcase their artwork. And I'm currently working to try and get exhibitions and get more clients and yeah, build that business up. Well, currently, um, and through my knowledge of the NDIS, I'm looking at people who have NDIS um, to be able to access my business um, in order to get mentoring or to work on the workshops. Um, if they want to, um, you know, me to build up their little business and show them, you know, um, how to sell art and, and be an artist and, and take it to that next level. And I hope to do workshops uh, in the future for people with disability and, you know, uh, mentor, do more mentoring for my business. I was recommended um, by uh, a, a man who is working on disability and employment um, at the University of Technology, Sydney. I think his name was Simon. And um, I did get in contact through him, through a network. And he, he told me um, that you guys were the best in su providing support for people with disability who were looking to start their business. I didn't have too much confidence. I knew what I wanted to do, um, but at that time, I, I really needed a bit of support and encouragement to, to be able to work on my business. I had done a little bit before, but it was really working through Ignite that it gave me the confidence to be able to you know, go those next steps and yes. Alexis has been a great support. She's always following up and, you know, always has been a source of encouragement. And it's been really great to bounce these ideas of her because she's very knowledgeable and experienced. Yeah, she's been fantastic to work with. I think we've got through the stages of, you know, running a business, uh, Alexis has connected me with some fantastic people. Um, but I think one of the challenges for me is I'm up to that stage where I need the finances to be able to go further with my business. Genuinely connecting me to people that assist, you know, it's been great. It is increasingly difficult and it is difficult to try and get something going when it's just you and not having anyone to support you. So I think I would have liked that goal but have never achieved it and um, yeah, so um, the team has really helped me in giving me the confidence to go further and pursue that. I think it's fantastic that Ignitability exists because I feel that there's a real gap in the disability sector to help people with disabilities with their business. There aren't too many people um, that get opportunities to start up a business, particularly people with disability. Um, income is a main issue for people with disability, so it's giving them another outlet and another way that they might be able to get an income for themselves and, and feel that self-worth. So I believe that, you know, Ignite has really filled that gap and helped a lot of other people, including myself, um, with, with that.